A little more in-depth overview of how the 200 grain 30 caliber uh, Federal Edge TLR performed shot out of a 300 PRC and then a reduced load out of a 30-06 simulated in longer range. The high velocity load was 3,050, I believe, 2 feet per second. Um, the low velocity, I shot two of them into the gel with almost identical uh, wound channels. One exited here, one exit almost the same spot out the top because they uh, veered a little bit. And my chronograph did not give me a read. So when I set it off <clears throat> in a better spot that had some more sunlight on it and got a reading, the load I shot through it showed 1,995 and that had a higher powder charge on it. So my low velocity should have been around 1,800 feet per second. I don't think, because I don't have a ton of these and I'm going to go do re-chronograph them to see, I'm actually going to be doing another test of these out of a different cartridge and when I do that I'll do a low velocity round again and hopefully my chronograph will read that day. Retained weight on that high velocity was 167.6 and isn't that one of the most beautiful mushrooms you've ever seen? That high velocity load hitting at over 3,000 feet per second. I had set a milk jug up on the end and it penetrated over 30 inches of gel and into that first milk jug. So really glad I set that milk jug there and was able to catch that bullet. <clears throat> I hit a little low in the block, but it's got tears all the way up to the top, not quite all four sides, so you're running um, just over a five inch permanent wound cavity. Um, tapering down, you have almost uh, immediate expansion through the board and piece of leather into the gel. That really large portion runs from the one inch mark to the 10 inch mark where it tapers down and you see decent permanent wound cavity going to the 14 and a half inch mark and then it really tapers down and then where that bullet had gone out the other end of the gel block into that jug. So phenomenal penetration with these bullets. And that uh, low velocity load, you have it opening up at about that inch mark. You got that good portion of the per wound cavity at the inch and a half mark, carrying to the 11 inch mark before it tapers down, still carrying decent permanent wound cavity past the 15 inch mark, exiting the gel block at 18 and a half inches. That good portion, largest section of that permanent. Wound cavity is four inches. So overall, great performing bullets. I know I've tested them in a lighter grain weight, shot out of the 300 wind mag, and real similar performance. They say these are rated down to around 1,400 feet per second. I'm pretty confident with this aggressive of a wound channel in this velocity range. You can definitely get away with uh, less velocity than what I had here, and I'll try that in a, another video at another time. But all I have to say is, you know, when it comes to the ballistics performance of a bullet, I have yet to find anything that performs better than this. The insane high velocities that, unless you're shooting an ultra mag, you're probably not going to be hitting a game with those high velocities. Bullet still holds together and penetrates good yet still works really good at uh, low velocities. I know their trophy bonded tips don't perform quite as low velocity, but those are the first ones I've done an accuracy test on, and they shoot incredibly accurate out of my 7mm-08, the 140 grain trophy bonded tips. So the premium line of bullets from Federal, ballistically, by far have impressed me more than anything in my testing. They seem to really have the broadest range of that bullet still performing where I'm not sure you could move these fast enough to actually grenade them and then not penetrate. Yet moving them really slow, they seem to still work great. So hope you guys enjoy this video. If you get a chance, you want to test some of these bullets on your own, 
go check out submoashooting.com and get sample packs. Save yourself a little bit of money in load development before you commit to buying them in bulk.